Welcome going to Toffee TV. It is the match reaction. Everton nil, Arsenal nil at Goodison Park today. Uh, just back from a match. It was dire. <laughs> it was a dire game of football today. Uh, both teams were poor. Um, both teams had players missing. Duncan Ferguson was in it. Was able to include Sidibe, Sigurdsson, Delph in his uh, starting lineup, bringing them back into the team. But you could tell our players and Luca Dean as well. You could tell that none of them were fully fit. Um, you know, we just Everton just looked like they were running on empty. Uh, obviously, the big news before and Carlo Ancelotti was announced as Everton's new manager, which was uh, is a massive appointment by Everton. Um, but he will have been in no, um, you know, no two minds really of how big. This job is for him to get Everton to where he's used to operating, which is the top, you know, the top end of the Premier, well, of any league table in any country he's been in. He's going to need to bring some players in. He's going to need to get these players playing in a manner that is, uh, is cohesive and, and an attacking manner. But what I would say is, as bad as the game was today, I think Everton and the Everton players put put everything they had into it. Um, I just don't think they physically had anything left. You know, third game in six days. Um, you know, tough games as well. And we just looked short. We looked short of ideas and we just looked like there was no energy in the team. The energy levels were, weren't there. They competed, got stuck in. I thought Dominic Calvert-Lewin was excellent. I thought Mason Holgate had a good game. I thought Yeri Mina was excellent. Uh, and Sidibe, I thought, had a really good game as well. But other people just, you know, just couldn't get going. Richarlison and put, put the shift in like he always does, but couldn't get going really. Tom Davis, I think, was a little bit lost out wide. Um, Delph and Sigurdsson competed, but just looked slow and, and were too deep at times for me. Um, we lost Alex Awobi very early on which upset the way we were going to play a little bit, I think. I think a lot of people, you know, will have looked past that. And I know Awobi can frustrate, but he's also someone who can pick a pass and he can thread balls through. And once he went off, we'd lost that ability to do that. Uh, he looked like a hamstring injury, which, you know, when you're playing three games and three tough games in six days, you know, these things can happen. Um, Jeng Tosin come on. thought it was a strange sub by Dunk to bring Tosin on. Uh, I thought the natural one would have been Bernard. Um, but we know that the sickness in, has been sickness in the camp, uh, you know, in the training ground this week. Um, Sidibe and Sigurdsson have done that. A couple of others have got it. I think Richarlison, someone said Richarlison was sick on the pitch in the first half. So, you know, the, up against it today, Arsenal were poor. Let's, let's have it right. That's the worst Arsenal team I think I've seen for 30 years. Um, but they got injuries as well. You know, there was just nothing there. It, the disappointing thing I'll take away from the game was the fact that we just didn't put Luis and uh, Chambers under any kind of pressure and we should have done because the pair of them aren't great. Um, Leno, I don't really think he had a say to make in the game. We had a Sigurdsson free kick that just went wide in the first half. Everything else was, there was nothing really to trouble him. And in the second half, we had another Sigurdsson shot that, uh, on the monitors, you know, it was handball. It was a penalty. It should have been a penalty. VAR checked it and didn't give it, but it was the lads put his arm up. It was a penalty. And then off the resulting corner, it hit another hand. Um, but we've been done by VAR all season. So I, I didn't expect anything less, to be honest. Kevin Friend had a nightmare of a game, horrific referee. And it wasn't even a difficult game to referee, but so inconsistent, so poor. Really, really, he's, he is an awful official. Don't know how, how he's a referee, but there you go. Um, for Arsenal, they offered very little, but Aubameyang had their best chance and Pickford made a brilliant save. Um, off a corner, I think it was a corner. Ball coming, he was on his own at the far post. Pickford made a really good save. Other than that, they knocked it round nicely, but they didn't ever look like they were going to break Everton down, didn't ever look threatening, but he did have a lot of young players in there as well. So both teams, considering two of England's best teams, you know, best clubs, famous clubs and great histories, they played out one of the worst games I've ever seen. <laughs> um, 
But there you go. What can you do? Big both managers, Mikel Arteta, Carlo Ancelotti have got big jobs to get them two clubs at the right end of the table playing the way they want to play. But for us, the way I look at it, Duncan Ferguson, unbeaten as ever manager. Um, five points from three tricky get well, three tough games, Chelsea, Manchester United and Arsenal. Um, and he's unbeaten in that. I think someone just said he's the only ever unbeaten Everton manager who's had more than one game, so fair enough. Fair play to Dunk, he's part of Ancelotti's new backroom uh, staff. And the other thing I'd say from it is a clean sheet, the first one we've had, um, I believe, since, well, certainly West Ham at home, wasn't it? Um, other than that, that was, you know, only the second clean sheet we've had since the Watford game, which was the second game of the season. So good for Jordan Pickford to have a clean sheet. Lots for Ancelotti to do, but for now, it's another point on the board. Uh, and the players have now got a five-day rest before the visit to Burnley on Boxing Day. So, you know, let's see what happens there. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, join us on Patreon for more videos and have a fantastic Christmas. Um, enjoy it and see you soon.